AITA for telling my sister I don't care what happens to her child and she would be an awful mother. The title sounds literally awful and I feel awful. My 17F sister, Veronica, 19F, accidentally got pregnant. I think having a little niece or nephew would be nice but whatever Veronica wants to do is fine by me. She decided to keep it and my parents are beyond ecstatic. Veronica and I aren't close. She was barely home growing up and my parents both left for work at 6 a.m. and got back just in time. For dinner, I basically raised my little siblings. K. 11 M. M. 14 F. And. C. 13 F. Me and my little siblings are really close and spend most of our time together but Veronica always relied on friends. Veronica tries her best to disturb peace in the family, causing fights with my sisters over little things like spraying too much perfume or commenting on their looks. But whenever we fight with her she threatens to abort her child as if we are going to drop to our knees and beg her not to. My parents protect her in every fight and thinks she can do no wrong because she is blessing them with their first grand baby. Over the past few weeks I've been working hard to buy a gift for C. Just an expensive perfume she wants which was about $110. Expensive. I know. But she was really wanting it. Not even two days into her having it her and Veronica got into a fight over God knows what. Veronica took the perfume and a few of her other belongings and threw them off the balcony. This pissed me off so much. Because not only did I spend so much on that but also that was C's stuff that she valued. C was crying while M was consoling her. Veronica was staring at her with a smirk on her face as if she was proud of being a fully grown adult and destroying a barely teenager's stuff. I went absolutely crazy on Veronica essentially telling her to go fuck herself. She started saying, I dare you to hit me. I'll get rid of this baby. I don't give a fuck. I was confused as this had nothing to do with her kid and I said, I don't care what happens to that thing. You'd be an awful mother anyways, my parents came to her rescue and told me to either get over myself or move out. So I said, okay, and went to my boyfriend's house. I've been getting calls and texts from my parents and Veronica telling me to come back and talk this out. Also saying I'm an awful person for saying this to my poor sister. I feel bad but my boyfriend is telling me that they are treating me like shit and he doesn't think. I should go back there unless I really want to. So AITA. NTA. The only response their texts deserve is. Has Veronica apologized to C and replaced her belongings yet? Quote. Your BF is right and you should stay miles away. If Veronica wants to cause property damage, she can deal with some harsh words in response. NTA. NTA. She absolutely would be an awful mother. Your poor younger sister. Veronica is batshit crazy and your parents are acting completely useless as parents in this situation. NTA. Your sister has weaponized that baby and it's so beyond wrong. I don't think you are too far off on the assumption of her being a crappy mom. She sounds like a crappy human. NTA but your parents are all along with Veronica. 1. For the parentification 2. For prioritizing their unborn grandchild over the well-being of the actual minor they are responsible for. I would not be surprised if they expect you to be heavily involved in childcare once this baby is born since the mom hardly seems responsible. NTA. The awe here are Veronica and your parents. She's constantly threatening terminating her pregnancy. That does make her a crappy parent. There are so many people out there who want kids and can't have them. And then this a whole acts the way she does makes me sick. She needs to grow the hell up. Your parents are suckers too. I agree with your boyfriend 100%.
Stay with your boyfriend. Let them deal with your psycho sister. NTA, your sister sounds like a piece of work. Sorry you have to deal with that. NTA. Fuck ya mama, daddy, sister and her fetus. NTA, your BF is right and your parents need a reality check. NTA. You're standing up against a bully. But your parents are too enamored with the grandchild thing that they won't listen to a thing you say anyway. NTA. She sounds like a spoiled brat who will be a terrible mother. It sounds like this could be the making or the breaking of her to be honest. NTA. Don't go back. And once you turn 18 and get your own place. Let your younger siblings know they have a place with you. NTA. Veronica is emotionally abusing your whole family but your parents are enabling her. I pray she's not abusive to the baby. But sadly. It is not your responsibility to make sure she isn't or that she doesn't get rid of it. You need to tell your parents that you won't go back as long as they continue to enable your sister. Talk to your other siblings and make sure they'll be okay if you decide not to go back. As the oldest you have to make some tough decisions but do what's best for you so that you're able to help them when you can. Maybe one day you'll be able to figure out the relationship with Veronica but right now she has some real growing up to do if she's going to raise a child. Your parents won't be around forever. NTA. It's gonna be hard to move out at your age and live on your own. I'm sorry you have to go through that. What you said isn't that bad considering the baby's own mother is threatening aborting it anyways. You said you raised your siblings. You probably will be raising this baby as well. I truly hope your situation gets better and you all figure this out. Best wishes to you and your family. NTA. They want you to keep babysitting your younger siblings maybe your new niece. NTA. I don't think your sister is mentally well. I don't understand how one could rationally weaponize a child but there you go. However, her ability to flip on the child's value in her head seriously concerns me in regards to potential PPD and sticking around to be a mom. I'd be hesitant to hear my parents begging me to talk something out. It makes me feel like they think they'll need me for the childcare or something. But I think they should have considered that. NTA. Your sister is poison and your parents are blinded by grandbaby madness. Stay out of there but keep in touch with your younger sibs. NTA. I'm so sorry for you and your other siblings. I hope one day you all get distance from that situation and peace. NTA. Your family is incredibly dysfunctional. Don't go back. Using her baby as a weapon and threatening to abort it is so. So disgusting. I'm still reeling from how low a person would have to be to do that. You are absolutely right. She sounds like she would be a horrible mother. Entitled and a bully. It's pathetic when full-grown adults feel the need to bully children. Your parents are enablers. Neglectful. And assholes for falling trapped to her manipulation failing to protect their other children, and forcing you to essentially raise them. It seems that they realized that not having you around would mean more work for them. Take care of yourself. NTA. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.